What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're flying over to Sebring, and we're doing it in a Piper Archer. When I get over there, I'm going to share what it's like to get checked out in a different plane. So let's go. What's up, everybody? Just landed over at Sebring, and I'm hanging out in the actual planning room. What I really wanted to talk about today was getting checked out in the Archer. As most of you know, I'm a newly minted private pilot. I have about 170 hours, I think 60 pilot in command. And the reason I wanted to jump into the Piper Archer was actually because I needed more availability. The place that I rent from Flight Training Professionals, which is great, is kind of tough to actually get the availability to the Skyhawk. Why? Because I have a really good reputation for training pilots. A lot of those student pilots will get the 172s. I want to do overnight flights. I want to fly to places on days like today, like Friday I actually landed here, got a little bit of work done, and then of course now started recording this, but I want to be able to just take the plane for the weekend and not have to worry about it. And the only way to do that right now in my current situation is with the Piper Archer. And I have about 10 hours now in the Archer. And what I want to do is just share what it did for me as a private pilot. So anybody out there that is new to aviation and new to private flying and is thinking about getting checked out in a different plane, it can be intimidating. So I think that's the very first thing I want to talk about is the fact that it is intimidating. You spent 120 hours in a Skyhawk. And so all of a sudden you're going to be looking at new avionics and new V speeds and a different engine. There's a lot of stuff that's changing for the plane. Uh, one thing for me was actually just the actual sight picture of landing an Archer versus a Skyhawk. But what I really found out was during the actual checkout for the Archer, it gave me a lot more confidence in my knowledge and my ability to fly a plane. Why? Because you go up and do the same exact maneuver. Stalls, steep turns, landings, climb outs, short field landings, all of those things. Aerodynamics do not change. The plane changes, the avionics change, and the feel of the plane changes a little bit. But at the end of the day, if you know how to perform some of these maneuvers, you can do them. It gave me a lot of confidence in knowing that I know how to recover from a stall. I know how to do a steep turn. I know why there are certain V speeds for certain things, such as a maneuvering speed. And it really gave me a lot more confidence in doing that. Number two was actually the intimidation factor of the avionics. It's different. And I think that is one of the pieces that I'm still learning a little more about. Um, I was very familiar with the G1000 in the, one, in the 172. Archer just has different avionics. The GT, GTN 750, I believe, and it's just a different experience. I actually like it a little more, but I still am looking for certain buttons. I have muscle memory for the Skyhawk, so when you're on with, let's say, Miami Center, and they say, go ahead and press ident, give me 3073 on your squat code, and you're like, oh wait, this is where it actually goes? Well, no, it's actually over here now. So it's a little different in that aspect, but again, just remind you that you can still fly the plane. The other thing that really opened up my eyes and got me excited about getting checked out in an Archer is the fact that there are other planes you can go get checked out in. Once you get over that intimidation factor and jump into a new plane, it becomes easier the next time you do it. I don't want to be in an Archer forever. I don't want to be in a Skyhawk forever. I want to truly own my own plane and it's probably going to be faster. So this is a great step up learning again a new plane, quickly getting up and kind of testing your personal minimums in there and learning how to essentially fly again. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you it gave you a little more ease of mind, especially if you're learning how to fly and you're about to get checked out. You can totally do it. And it actually is a massive confidence booster. If you like the video, go ahead and press like. If you want to subscribe, you know where to do that. I hope you guys have a great weekend. See ya.